Good afternoon, Ravens. I'm Roan Stanley. And I'm Sydney Weeks. After having a very low football has always been one of the most popular sports in high school, but this year there has been a drastic drop in having a great season. Lena Saturn and Riley Kramer have the scoop. Football has always been one of the most popular sports in high school, but this year there has been a drastic drop in numbers. I think, like a lot of things, it's a combination of things. I think West opening, we lost some kids to West. I think that's part of it. Um, and also, overall, numbers are down across the nation in high school football. And I think that is attributed to um, the, the fear of concussions and injuries and that sort of thing. But that's just uh, me guessing, to be honest. I feel like a lot of parents don't want their kids playing due to concussions because it, it really affects their overall life. Like, their grades could go down because they've had concussions day after day, going in and out of practice and games. And it's a very physical sport and it's very tough. And you just kind of have to go in with that mindset that it's going to happen. And if your parents really believe in that you want to play and that you want to do this for the sport, then I don't think concussions really matter in the long run. So. A lot of the students who came out have higher hopes for their life regarding football. I feel like making a career out of it would be anyone's dream in football, but you know, it's something that we all have the same dream for, so I want to play football eventually in life, and so this is the first step. So, Despite the smaller than usual team, the freshman football players are looking forward to a great season. Uh, the boys we have are working hard, and we've got a good summer, and I'm excited. And, and like I told the boys um, early on this summer, I said, we're going to worry about who's here, and we're going to work hard and do our best, and we want to get better each and every day, and, and we, we're, we're going to have a great season. That's our plan. For ONW Now, this has been Lena Satterin. Now back to the desk. This year, a lot of new clubs are being introduced at ONW, including the Student Naturalist Club. The club is open to any and all students that have taken or are currently enrolled in Student Naturalist. The club will meet on the first and third Thursday of every month during Power 50. The Naturalist Club is going to be for students to maybe do a few things above and beyond what we normally do in the classroom. Hopefully we're going to be going on some field trips and uh, maybe collect a few snakes, turtles, maybe go on a fishing trip. Um, I, I used to, when I had the club, always would take seniors out for dinner. And so it's just a few things that go above and beyond the classroom. The first meeting is September 7th. If you cannot attend the meeting, contact Mike McRoberts in room 1111 for details. The 15th annual Irish Fest happened over the past weekend. Let's take it to Sarah Miguel and Addison Smith with the story. Hey Ravens, this is Sarah Miguel reporting to you from Crown Center at the Irish Fest. If you're watching Owen Demi now, you're too late, but here's the highlights. This past weekend, thousands of people gathered at Crown Center for the annual Irish Fest. Some of the people even traveled great distances to be there. We all flew out here to join my brother and all his family from Bartlesville, Oklahoma. And we're having a great time. At the Irish Fest, there was a variety of things to do, including shopping, watching shows, and even a center for kids' activities. Although many people from Irish descent attended this festival, others came out to just experience the Irish Fest. Well, you don't have to be Irish to be an Irish Fest. Everybody's Irish today. Also at this event, you can learn more about your background and ancestors. I love Irish culture. I'm Irish, so I just like to embrace my Irish culture. The Irish Fest is an annual event and is a great way to try something new. For Addison Smith, this has been Sarah Miguel. Now, back to the desk. Hello everybody, welcome to Game Day Northwest, I'm Nick Lopez. After coming off a challenging season last year, the Ravens football team faced their first opponent of the year, Goddard High School. The game was a rematch from last year when the contest came down to the final play of the game. Last Friday, the Ravens football team kicked off their season against Goddard High School. The Ravens started off strong offensively as Braden Cook made a run to the left and threw the ball to the hands of Joe Hatsfield, scoring the first touchdown of the game. Raven Nation went crazy. In the second half, the Ravens made their second touchdown as Joe Hasfield slipped through the offense, making the game 13-42. Hungry for another touchdown, John Bowman battled through Goddard's defense, getting tackled at the 10-yard line. At the 10-yard line, 
Braden Cook throws the ball over Goddard's defense into the hands of senior Val Sherinian, scoring the last touchdown of the game. The Ravens were able to get the were able to get the field goal, making the game 21-42. Unfortunately, Goddard had the upper hand and defeated the Ravens 42 to 21. The Ravens play Olathe South, Olathe South this Friday in a statement game against their rivals. Come out and support them at 7 o'clock. After an impressive third place finish at State last year, the girls golf team opened up their season at Blue Hills Country Club last Monday. They started off the season with a bang as they finished third as a team. The tournament included Missouri and Kansas schools and our very own Rosie Klausner placed first. As an individual with a score of 75, Tuesday the girls are back on the golf course battling for the coveted Olathe Cup. Junior Julia Klein stepped up and drove a shot onto the fairway. Julia gets it onto the green, and on the green, Julia Klein puts it in. Throughout the tournament, senior Rosie Klausner and her sister Victoria Klausner led the way. Rosie and Victoria have high goals for the year. They want to finish first and second in the state. They also have a new coach, and the team looks to add plenty of wins to her resume in her first year at Olathe Northwest. The beginning of the boys' soccer season has been filled with several close contests and one blowout against Blue Valley North. Tuesday, Chase Kluzman and our Raven boys took on Turner. So was it a close contest or a blowout? Let's find out. O&W took on Turner Tuesday night at Seabeck. Junior Caleb Raglan beats three defenders on his, way, on his way to the goal. He scores, putting the Ravens on the board first. O&W is up 1-0. Junior David, David Hepting rushes the goal and scores. The Ravens are up 2-0 in the 16th minute. In the 28th minute, the Ravens are up 5-0. Leif Johnson gives a beautiful assist to Brock Baker for the score. The Ravens are up 6-0. A few more goals throughout the half and into the second half. In the 30th minute of the, of the second half, Grant, Grant Gertzen took a shot to end the game. The Ravens sailed to a 10-0 win and took on Turner. That was no contest. The gymnastics team opened up their season Tuesday night against Olathe East, Shawnee Mission Northwest, and Olathe West. Senior Sydney Weeks led the way. Let's flip over to, to the highlights. Sydney Weeks, in her first O&W high school meet, won her first meet. The gymnastics team as a whole took second place, finishing in the quadrangular meet. Le leading the team to a second place finish were freshmen Hallie Robinson and Brooke Elam and senior Sydney Weeks. Many of the teams placed on many events like vault, bars, and beam, second on the floor and second in team all around. Sydney Weeks took second on vault. That's all we have for Game Day Northwest this week. Now let's send it back to the desk. An important week that means a lot to o w is coming up this September. Demma Matthews gives us a preview into Mental Health Week here at Northwest. This year, Olathe Northwest Student Services comes together to find a new way to involve the school in an important week. My prevention week is September 11th through 15th, and the theme of the week is Make a Difference. So we are sponsoring a poster contest for all current ONW students to apply. There's going to be a prize, and it's so exciting, I can't even tell you about it right now, but there will be a prize. In addition, the winning poster will be um, selected and then printed on a variety of posters throughout the whole school. Caster Strum, a sophomore at Olathe Northwest, talks about how this week impacts him. I've known a few friends who committed suicide and stuff, so it's like giving people resources to uh, be able to help themselves or get help is like really important. Miss Falls gives advice to anyone who is feeling lonely or suicidal. As an adult, um, there are so many of us here in this building, anyone here um, will be happy to assist you. Um, get down to student services, the counseling office, tell a teacher, tell a parent, tell a friend's parent, um, talk about it. You can also always call the National Suicide Hotline, um, and the number for that is 1-800-273-8255. Don't forget to check out the tables that will be set up in the commons during lunch and make your unique poster design. For ONW Now, this has been Dima Matthews. Now back to the desk. Through September and early October, the Kansas City Renaissance Festival will, will be going strong in its 41st year. Let's send it to Jacob Kaufman with the details. Located just 15 minutes and 500 years from downtown KC in Bonner Springs, Kansas City Renaissance Festival is in its 41st annual season this year. Open every weekend from September 2nd to October 15th, the festival allows residents from the Kansas City area and all around to enjoy an escape to the days of the past. So we attend the Nebraska Renfest, but this is 
obviously uh, much bigger. The festival has daily games, contests, and live entertainment like music, magic, and even jousting. Costumed actors live in the scene, each with a personal background story. I am the best dragon catcher in the known world. Every weekend has a theme with special food, contests, and discounts. Coming up soon on the 16th of September is Ales and Tales, the dog-themed weekend with pet costumes and parades. This year, bring five non-perishable food items to get a buy one, get one free adult ticket at the gate. For ONW Now, this is Jacob Kaufman. Now back to the desk. In the coming days, horticulture students will be adding compost bins to the commons. These new bins will be used for the class and are an environmentally friendly way to keep food scraps out of the trash. So our compost bins will hold food scraps, fruits, vegetables, nothing like milk cartons or, or meat. Um, and we'll basically use that to use for fertilizer in our garden. That's all we have for this week, Ravens. Be sure to follow us on Snapchat at ONW Now and Twitter at ONW Now underscore Raven Daily. We will be back in action tomorrow night broadcasting the football game versus Olathe South. If you can't make it out to the game, tune into our live broadcast on our Raven Daily YouTube channel, the TV 520 Foot Facebook page, or at TV25.com. Before we go, I want to take a quick second to ask Lindsay Heller to homecoming. Just thought I'd put that out there. Thanks for joining us and have a great week, Ravens.